got we got bigger fish to fry. We got bigger fish to fry. Premier League season 2023-2024 is coming to an end. This weekend, we have match week 34. And let me remind you what is happening on the table. Manchester City are top of the table with 73 points. Arsenal are second, 71 points. Liverpool are third, 71 points. But the goal difference is plus 49 for Arsenal and plus 41 for Liverpool. Aston Villa are a little way behind with 63 points. And Tottenham Hotspurs are fifth with 60 point. You scroll down, Chelsea, ninth FC with 47 point. And you go in the relegation zone, you will see Luton Town, 25 point. Burley, 20 point. Sheffield United, 16 point. Somebody is going to get relegated very soon in the in the la, in the in the next uh, couple games i think sheffield united are going to be confirmed gone and probably burnley so this weekend three teams are not going to play because of their involvement in the fa cup this weekend it's chelsea manchester city and Manchester United. So they're going to have Chelsea probably a couple games in hand. And Manchester United and City are going to have one game in hand to be played in the next coming weeks. If you're a coach, what are you telling your team before the big game? I would tell my team, if you lose, I, won't, I don't want to see your face again, ever again. That's pretty harsh. Let now go and give you some details about this weekend. Saturday, April the 20th. Luton Town against Brentford. The last game in the Premier League, Luton lost against Manchester City 5-1. And Brentford beat Sheffield United 2-0. You know what? I really want Luton to stay because the philosophy, the way they play, the history behind them is just awesome. The stadium is just like your Sunday League kind of stadium, but traditional English kind of stadium. I love the history behind them, but I think Brentford also need to win because they are not doing great at the moment. So I think this game is going to be a 2-2 draw. Moving on. Sheffield United against Burnley. Uh, Sheffield lost the last game against Bradford. Like I just said, 2-0. And um, Burnley actually drew 1-1 against Brighton the last game. And this one is just like a relegation six-pointer. <laughs> I think Burnley are going to beat Sheffield United 2-1. I really want Vincent Company somehow a miracle happened to him and he stays in the Premier League. 2-1 to Burnley. <laughs> you are so funny. Wolves against Arsenal. Arsenal just got knocked out the Champions League by Bayern Munich 1-0 and the last game in the Premier League they lost at home against Aston Villa and they are going to try everything in their power to try to win every single game that they have from now on Wolves they didn't play in the midweek in the Champions League or anything you know they are mentally and physically strong and ready. They're going to have more energy than Arsenal. I'm afraid this game is going to be 
a 2-2 draw. And Arsenal can kiss goodbye to the league if they draw this game. And then we go for Sunday, April the 21st. Everton against Nottingham Forest. Oh my goodness me. Uh, the two teams are not in a good situation now. They can still get relegated. Chelsea destroyed Everton the last game in the Premier League 6-0. Nottingham Forest drew at home against Wolves. It was 2-2. Everton playing home. Nottingham Forest. Ah, two, uh, two mid teams to be honest with you. Oh my lord. But I think it's going to be a, a boring 1-1 one -one draw. Moving on. Aston Villa against Bournemouth. Uh, Villa are very confident at the moment because they beat Arsenal away 2-0 at the Emirates Stadium. It was a very good evening for them. And Bournemouth drew against Manchester City 2-2 at home. Hmm. So this game and Aston Villa actually are playing on Thursday against uh, in the Europa Conference League. Hmm. They will be tired. So I don't know how, what state of mind they're going to be. But I think it's going to be a 2-0 to Aston Villa. Crystal Palace against West Ham. Crystal Palace actually beat Liverpool away at Anfield Stadium 1 0. That is unheard of because Liverpool don't lose often at Anfield Stadium. And uh, Fulham actually beat West Ham United at home. At their own stadium, London Stadium 2-0 in a London derby. David Moyes is under a lot of pressure at the moment. And they are playing on, on Thursday in the Europa League against Leverkusen. So it's not getting easier for West Ham. A London derby. I think Crystal Palace are going to win this game 2-1. Okay. Let's continue now. Fulham against Liverpool. Hmm. Liverpool just lost uh, at home the last game. Um, Fulham playing home. They have confidence now beating West Ham the last game. Uh, yeah, this game is going to be a 1-1 um, draw. Liverpool are going to continue dropping points and giving advantage to Manchester City. It's not cool to not know what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, that's about it. Because Chelsea needs to play in the FA Cup. Manchester United and Manchester City also. Uh, the semi-finals of FA Cup that we're going to have time to talk about. So let me know what you think. Who's going to win the Premier League, do you think Arsenal can, you know, can do it? Liverpool, or you think City not having the Champions League anymore, they are going all for it. On paper, it looks like City got a better schedule, but you never know. Until the last minute, you have to keep pushing, and you never know what's going to happen at the end. Blessings. Don't forget...